The website for China's Communist Party newspaper has congratulated North Korean leader Kim Jong-un on being named the sexiest man alive. The only problem? China's People's Daily apparently failed to realize the honor, awarded by the U.S. publication The Onion, was satirical. The website ran a 55-page photo spread of Kim showing him on horseback and visiting state security forces. It also quotes The Onion. Blessed with an air of power that masks an unmistakable, cuddly side, Ken made this editorial board swoon with his impeccable fashion sense. Well, we've collected the online reaction to the article on our website at stream.aljazeera.com. In Cairo is the scene for our next lead, where thousands have protested against the president granting himself sweeping powers. As the crowds swell in Tahrir, activists are using Twitter to fight against sexual harassment in the square. The people behind the account Tahrir Bodyguard tell women in the square who need support to tweet at them. They then help the women find protection. We came into being because of the many women before us who were assaulted, the account tweeted, adding, please do not tweet at us and suggest that it's safer for women to just stay home. Women have the same right to demonstrate safely. Well, the account has now been temporarily suspended. Our, na our last leads from Tajikistan, where the government has blocked Facebook, saying it allows unknown people to insult state leaders. Calling it a hotbed of slander to Russia's state news agency, the Office of Telecommunications ordered mobile carriers and internet service providers to cut users off. Well, if you have a lead for us, let us know. Tweet us with the hashtag AJStream. Josh?